Hi everyone. This week we are back in northern Italy. Woohoo! We are in Piedmont mm -hmm. and we are on the bank of the Po River. What's the name of the town, babe? Pontestora. Pontestora. What's special about the Po River, babe? It's the longest river in Italy. By the way, welcome to Wandering with Wine. Salute. Salute. So, here is a sneak peek into this property. Look at that brick. Look at those barrel vaulted ceilings. Yep, love it. And a quick peek at your outdoor courtyard, complete with pomegranates. Yes, please. <laughs> you know what? This one seems very interesting. Let's get into it. This house for sale in Piedmont, Italy is located in Cascina Lunghe, $84,000, furnished. Furnished for $84,000. Yep. And it's a three bedroom, two bath, over 1,700 square feet. This place has a lot. What does it have, babe? It's got tons of stuff. Terraces? Yep. A balcony? Yep. A courtyard? Yep. A garden? Yep. A garage? Yep. <laughs> and are you ready? We have four surprises for you throughout this video. So make sure you stay tuned. Again, we are in Northern Italy, so close to France, so close to Switzerland. Look at this adorable Hamlet. Ooh, that looks like a cute Hamlet, babe. It sure does. So how do you get to this quaint property? The Torino airport is under an hour away. There is a train 13 minutes away, and there are multiple bus stops in the area. Do you like road trips yes. like we do? If so, this will certainly interest you. Provence is about five hours away. Venice is less than four hours away. Amazing. Pisa, only three and a half hours away. And Lake Garda, the largest lake, in Italy yep. is less than three hours away. I've never been much of a lake gal, but look at this. It's 143 square miles and known for the crystal clear waters. Look at that view. Beautiful. Here's a look at Provence. Ooh. Lavender fields. I can see it, I can smell it. What else they got? Absolutely. You can even take a tour of all the places Van Gogh painted. That's pretty cool. What? Known for rose, mm -hmm. known for beautiful landscapes, obviously. We need to go there. Let's do it. So real quick, before we get to the property, let's knock out a few need to knows. Okay, let's do it. hospital, 16 minutes away. Doctor, 10 minutes away, and there's a pharmacy five minutes away. There is one tooth in town. We have to say in town. <laughs> one tooth, I have 32 teeth. <laughs> and it is eight minutes away. I have my wisdom teeth. And he does. And for Zozo and Mau mm. Mau, a veterinarian only 13 minutes away. Perfect. And of course, we have to thank our amazing channel supporters. Rachel, thank you for all of the coffees. Five. Amazing. That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Tom A, thank you for becoming a patron. Awesome. And Jean L, thank you for becoming a patron. So great. So sweet. Yep. Love you guys. We do. The closest city to this property is Casale Monferrato. It has 32,000 residents, yep. and it's only 15 minutes away. So, Cascina Lunghe is a hamlet of Pontestora, and it's about five minutes away. Here's a little aerial shot of Cascina Lunghe, and here is where the house is located. Ooh. Well, I say we do a wander through the town. What do you think? Oh, I like it. A wander to the town, and a then a wander to the town <laughs> through this little and then hamlet. Through the hamlet. <laughs> so you can see the mountains. You can see that you're in the countryside. Definitely. Some hills, little mountains in the background there. Yep. It looks very peaceful, doesn't it? Yep, peaceful yeah. and quiet and quaint. It looks kind of new, fresh, and clean, actually. <laughs> out in the because countryside. there's nothing out there. <laughs> well, yeah, it looks fresh. I like it. You know? Yeah, look at the mountains in the background. Yeah. It's just a pretty landscape, mm -hmm. right? You have the city so close, and then you come to this adorable hamlet 
So you're far enough away for not the hustle and bustle, but close enough to enjoy all of the amenities and services. Yeah, and here we are in this. Let's turn around, see if we pass anything. <laughs> and what do we see, babe? <laughs> we, we see, see the house. This is the house. This is the back of the house. Maybe some would consider it the front of the house. Either way, look at that little courtyard area. There it is. I mean, you could grow some fruits, some vegetables. Yep. And this isn't even the garden, right? The entire structure there that you see in peach, that is this house. Let's go with terracotta. Terracotta. And this is the front of the house? or the back of the house, or whatever side you want to call it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that little tunnel next to the front right? of your house there. It's I knew cute. you'd love that. Mm. I love this courtyard, obviously a balcony. Yeah. And then we are going to go in right here. Here we are. This is the living room and dining room. Okay, what do you see, babe? I see a beautiful brick arch. You guys had to know that we'd fall in love with that. What else do you see, babe? <laughs> I see a fireplace. A fireplace, yes. The floors are great. Yep. And you know what? This place looks kind of cozy, but a little bit spacious. Okay, what's going on with the ceilings? Those need to be exposed. Yeah. If you remember some of the other real estate that we have shown in Northern Italy, it has those gorgeous brick ceilings. Yeah. This place has it too. They just covered it up. Yeah. We would expose those. For sure. By the way, this place is furnished, right? Yep. Look at the furniture. Pretend it's yours. Some people may not, may not want to pretend it's theirs. I know. I know. <laughs> that couch could work. Yeah. But, you know. You know. You use what you can use. Yeah. All right. Babe. Yeah? I see a tube TV. And? A VCR. That is definitely a VCR. It okay. Is. What VHS tape oh. are you watching? Go. I am watching. What's that? You have a prop? Go ahead. I'm going to see if I picked your VHS tape. <laughs> see if it's the right one. I'm going to say Pretty Woman because. It's Pretty Woman. No, it's, it's not. It's Pretty Woman. <laughs> So this is the dining room, and you can see, looking into the living room, that arch is foreboding in a very good way. So we're going to go from this dining room right here into the kitchen. We gave this little sneak peek in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Again, that stone, the barrel vaults, and then you head into the kitchen, yeah. and it's a nice size. That's a good size kitchen, you know. I like the ceilings yep. with the wood beams as well. Yep. And there's a door out to your... Courtyard? Courtyard. <laughs> That's the door you went out. And there's your courtyard. Babe, I see something growing on trees there. What is it? Pomegranates. Yes. Which I love. So if you buy this place, you own a pomegranate tree. So heading back into the kitchen, you see a cute flowery shower curtain shower curtain <laughs> and let's open that shower curtain oh look at that what a surprise <laughs> you have a cantina you have a pantry you have a wine cellar absolutely what do you think i would do with this space babe everyone knows what we would do with this space what's that wine <laughs> wine wine storage and then off this kitchen is a nice full bathroom there we go it has a shower has everything you need yep so let's head upstairs, but before we do, mm -hmm. I see some sort of tree trunk with some sort of lacquer on it. Look at that. I think it's pretty cute, right? Let's go up these stairs. Here we go. Straight ahead is the bedroom. We go into the bedroom right through here. This is a large space. Look at that bedroom. That's a giant bedroom for Italy. It really it is. It really is. Mm -hmm. Pretty windows, the floors. There are barrel vault ceilings mm. in that room that need to be exposed. <laughs> and remember, this is only $78,000. So you have money most likely in your budget to reveal all of these ceilings. And by the way, what else do you see, babe? What am I looking at here? Doors. Mm -mm. There is a chair at the foot of the bed. Oh, jeez. It's a little unusual. Like I said before, I don't see a tripod it's like or anything. A thing. 
but maybe it's like a little rocking chair Someone helping. and the grandmother's talking to the little kid or something who's not feeling well, you know, yeah. run with your imagination. Something sweet. Yeah, something cute. Go up a few stairs onto that landing and then you go into this bathroom. Another okay. full-size bathroom with a tub. Babe, what do I see over there? I see a... Bidet Carino. Bidet Carino. Welcome to surprise number one, the wandering <laughs> with wine word or phrase of the week. It is cute bidet, which is... Bidet Carino. Bidet Carino. A lot of you liked the wandering with wine word or phrase of the week, so it will now be a standard in all of our videos. Thank you for your input. So generally in Italy, if you find a place with a very large bedroom, the other ones are gonna suffer. You might be sleeping in a closet. <laughs> Not in this one. Nope. This one has a second very, very large bedroom. It I sure mean, does. Look at this space, babe. I know, that's crazy. There is giant furniture throughout mm -hmm. this house too. And there's some bookshelves over there. I feel like you could have two king size beds and a <laughs> Fish tank. A fish, okay, fish tank, nice, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, I don't know if you can buy fish in Italy. Oh, come on. Can you buy fish in Italy? Let us know, I'm totally kidding. Okay, can. so very big bedroom. You may have seen the French doors in that bedroom. Mm -hmm. Off of this bedroom, it's this lovely balcony. It's a good size. I would say, is that a happy hour tower? I think it might I qualify. I think we might do a little yep. salute oh. and I need a little wine -a. So from this balcony, you see what? You see a parking space, you see a courtyard, you see your garden, and the building behind the tree, that is your garage. Wait till you see how big this garage is. Okay, so we'll leave that bedroom. Okay. Go down the stairs. <laughs> Let's go down the stairs. And then out into your beautiful courtyard area. Yeah, again, I love that little tunnel over there. That's cute. I know. There's a, you know, there's a good shot of it. This yep. is where you park your vehicle. So you have private parking in this hamlet. Heading from the house through your garden, that could use a little tidying up. Yeah. You walk under a trellis of grape vines. If you noticed earlier, there's some grapes growing closer to the house. And then you head to your garage. There's a shot from the front of the garage. Yep. That looks like a brand new garage door. It looks like it's in very good condition. That's inside your garage. I mean, remember, $78,000. You have giant bedrooms, you have courtyards, you have balconies, you have terraces. Yep. You have grapes, you have pomegranates, and you have a giant garage. All of that for $78,000. Unbelievable. Here's another view in that garage. This is about 280 square feet. That's, That's a nice size. Yeah, for sure. Okay, one more time. Here's the house. This is your courtyard and your garden. It's 1,800 square feet for yep. the garden and courtyard. That's a pretty big space right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. And that balcony is 86 square feet. Yep. And I don't know why, but the house looks peach now. <laughs> no, babe, that's, that's terracotta. That's not terracotta. That is terracotta. <laughs> that's terracotta. terracotta. Are you ready? Are you ready for mm. surprise number two? Surprise number two is that everything we've shown you for $78,000, right? That's not it. You have a lot more space. Check this out. Look at this here. Okay. We've looked at this courtyard here, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, up the stairs. We've seen this bedroom, this bathroom, and this bedroom. You might be thinking, well, what the heck is all of this here and here and here? and here, so double the house. Double the space of everything we saw, and that is yours as well. It needs to be renovated, right babe? It does. So this could be a project in the future. Are you curious about the latitude of this property? I am. I am. Where do you think it goes? Um, if you had to guess. I don't know, like Virginia or DC <laughs> or something like that. That's what you would think. Well, wait, we're in Northern Italy? Yep. I'm gonna push it to like New Hampshire, maybe into Michigan. Okay. Southern Michigan, that's my guess. What do we got? All right. So actually we go through Maine, 
Montreal. Wow. Right? That's crazy. What else do you see, babe? So north of Minneapolis and almost into Portland? Wow, that's crazy. That so is crazy. It's pretty far north compared to other spots in it, the US. It is. Okay, before we get to surprise number three, we wanna look at a couple of our favorite comments in the past couple weeks. Okay, Steven, wait, what do you mean it's Friday and the whole planet isn't watching this channel? <laughs> That's nice, I mean, that would be awesome. <laughs> Uh, did I wake up on Mars? So many people missing out. You know, I think that's a true statement. You know, if you have friends that drink wine, tell them about this YouTube channel. I think they would love or it. Or just love Italy. Yeah. Or travel or... Wine and Italy. <laughs> no. um, can't have them sucking up all the bandwidth and affecting my video stream while sitting in my happy hour tower. You know what? Salute love to it. you for that happy hour Thanks, tower. Thanks, Steven. Nice place. Thanks for finding it for us. Thank you. And Hollis, I don't know your first name because YouTube doesn't show it. Mm. You could always say it in one of your comments though and then we'll use it going forward. That's right. You can use an alias if you want because my name is not Biagio, her name is not Jamie Webb. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. Gorgeous. Another fabulous find. With each new video, you bring me that much closer to retirement reality. I love that. We love it. Your finds are priceless. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you know. You. Yeah, seriously. I think that you really uh, hit the nail on the head. I think everyone is dreaming of retiring in Italy. Thank you very much. All right, honey, are you ready for surprise yes. number three? Who remembers the home that we featured just outside of Toddy? Do you? Of course I do. Do you remember the donkey <laughs> comment? It was the first one that had a washer and a dryer. I think you're right. Yep. And you could park a hundred donkeys in the driveway. It's yeah. that one. So giant driveway. That's right. So by the way, we are drinking uh, Lottie from California. So I think it's perfect. We're going to go from Lottie to Toddy. Ha ha mm. ha. So if the giant driveway doesn't remind you of which property we're talking about, this might, that beautiful terrace, that extra special room below. That's right. That's it right. was so nice. So why are we talking about this property? Okay, someone from our W3 family saw our video and fell in love with this place. Yep. Like probably a lot of us. However, they were the first ones to make a move and they own this beautiful place. So everyone say hello to the brand new owners of the Castle on the Hill, Dwayne and Donna. Cheers, salute, Cheers, Dwayne salute. and Donna. You guys look pretty happy and I love that key. Here's a picture of that killer view. Obviously, Dwayne loves it. You know what? I have a feeling, Dwayne, that you got my shrubbery reference, right? Because there you are in front of <laughs> the shrubbery. I think it's the view. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see a view, but I see shrubbery. <laughs> And then I really like where Donna's head is at with <laughs> the vino. Definitely. I forgot how gorgeous that fireplace mm. is, that kitchen. We really liked this property. You guys look very happy and we're very happy about that. And I think this last photo conveys just how <laughs> happy they are. And we just want to say congratulations. congratulations and salute. salute. Okay, back to the area that this property is in. Let's talk about some fun things to do. What do we like to do? What does everyone like to do? Let's go out to a restaurant. There is a restaurant four minutes away that looks like this. This okay. is cozy. Yep. What do you think, Ben? It sure is. I like yeah. that. And they have alfresco dining. Alfresco dining for the Jamie one. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to say, where's Batman? Yeah, my voice was really high <laughs> leading up into it, and then it was low, and I got confused. But there's alfresco dining for you to enjoy. One of the things that is important to remind everyone about is how close Casale Monferrato is. Yes. And how many amenities and services, including the restaurants and, and restaurants. bars. Look yeah. at all the restaurants. It's only 15 minutes away from the property. Yeah, a lot to choose from, yep. for sure. All right, it's time to wander through... Casale Manfratto. Casale Manfratto. Here we go. Here is the Duomo. Look at that. The towers. That is so, so pretty. I would say happy hour tower, except it's no, a church. We're so. not saying it there. I mean, they do That's drink sacrilegious. Wine. They do drink wine in church. <laughs> red wine. But anyway, 
Look at these streets, it's beautiful. Right, and then you'll see all the little icons for the different shops and the restaurants and the bars. Look at the piazza there. Yeah, that's, Oh my gosh. That tower over there. Yeah. That one could be a, a happy hour tower, possibly. <laughs> Another cafe, look at the shops again, yeah. restaurant. There's a ton here. There's a lot, and this yeah. is just one little road going through the city. Jimi Hendrix would love that tower. <laughs> the watchtower? He would love that watchtower. <laughs> what else we got, okay. Again, there's just so much to yeah. offer here. Mm -hmm. Only 15 minutes away from the property, which is so great. It's spectacular. And think about how peaceful it is and you feel like you're so far removed and then 15 minutes yep. and you're in this. I think this is the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. I really do, you know? Look how pretty. Yeah, beautiful. All right, grocery stores. There's a grocery store in Ponte Soro, just mm -hmm. a few minutes away. There are. Sorry, <laughs> I, I, I can't be like this all the time. I gotta hit the I button. Like... You're hitting the button. Can you tell I'm hitting a button? Mm. All right. Click, 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 I got click, it. click. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Bars. There are a few around the property, and then obviously a ton in Casale yeah. Manfrotto. Babe. Yes. Would you? <gasps> would you like to elevate your drinking? Yes. And what does that look like, babe? That looks like a winery. Okay, there is a winery four minutes, four away, minutes away from the hamlet, <laughs> which is great for me. And there's a bunch in the area. Yeah. And okay, that That's is what I view. call a glass of wine with a view. Absolutely. Um, and you know, the thing is, that's bad about that is what if it was raining, babe? Oh, oh, you still got the view. covered. What if it's pouring, babe? <laughs> oh, oh, you go inside if it's a monsoon. I don't know. Do they get hurricanes actually in Italy? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's I a weird think question. So. But there's got to be some kind of weather event that would make me go inside and I'd be stuck there for 48 hours to drink all of the wine. <laughs> Time for some fun stuff. Skiing two hours away, Ooh, and it looks look like this. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. I know you know my favorite skiing movie, but do you know my favorite skiing movie? Put it in the comments below. So if you like to hike, there's hiking all over this place. I mean, it looks like it's a few minutes away from the property. You have tons of options. And the greatest game ever played, you have a <laughs> golf course 10 minutes away. It looks like that. And it looks like that. Okay, I was trying to come up with a golf joke, um, but I would like to hear a couple mm. new ones. Please, in the comments below, give us a, a golf, golf joke. joke. Your best golf joke. Where's, Where's the, the beach? beach? It is about two hours away. And it looks like this. I Ooh. think That's I would gorgeous. enjoy myself. Actually, it looks like if Dirty Dancing was filmed in Italy in 1987 <laughs> or 88. It was 87, right? It's, I'm pretty sure it's 87. Yeah. Um, this would be the, you know, the cat skills feel of a resort, but this is in Italy. It's beautiful. I love it. So what do you think of this, uh, this shot of the beach, babe? Not too bad. Mm -hmm. There's Baby and Johnny practicing the lift right there. Okay, ready? We're gonna do it. Okay, ready? no, we're not gonna do it. Okay, sorry. No. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have a public, public pool. pool. Why would we put a public pool after the beach? Because you don't wanna go in the ocean or the sea. Mm. And it's much closer. It's and only it's 11 closer. minutes away. 11 minutes away. There's an athletic field only nine minutes away. And a gym. 13 minutes away. 12. 12 minutes away <laughs> and? An amusement center, only a few minutes away. It's in town. The YouTube channel Wandering With Wine, some say, <laughs> is an amusement center. Hair salon, 11 minutes away. Spa, 14 minutes away. And it looks Ooh. like this. <laughs> okay, remember when we pulled back the shower curtain in the kitchen and I said, what would I do with that space? This actually is the space that I renovated. We already bought the property. Uh, this is it. No, it's not. No. So that spa is in a wine resort. Obviously, this is a thing. This is our wine. second one in a few weeks. Love it. Look how gorgeous that is. 
you're gonna fall off the chair. <laughs> okay, a few more need to knows. Hardware store, four minutes away. Uh -huh. Auto parts store, 10 minutes away. There is a butcher, four minutes away, that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. And a bakery, eight minutes away, and too bad, Oh, you did it! I was like, too bad my wife didn't get me pictures of the I wasn't going to hear that again this yeah, week. Yeah, so, um, Cute tart. if I had to choose, I would pick the one on the top left. It looks like raspberries, strawberries, mm. and blueberries, and some sort of... It looks delicious. Uh, I yum. like the kiwi strawberry. And yeah. is that pineapple in the middle? Yeah. Um, looks great. They uh, all look great. They look like two... Anyway, uh... We'll see you on the next slide. God. <laughs> For f**k's sake. Clothing store, 11 minutes away. Jewelry store, eight minutes away. Post office, so you can... Send stuff back to the States. Because... You want folks to visit. Why would they visit? Because you live in Italy. Why would they want to visit because you live in Italy? Because they miss and love you. Because they want to live in Italy. <laughs> and we have a school hmm. for kids. When your family moves over because you talked them into it and they have a bunch of kids and you're like, why did I talk my family into coming? No, it's nice <laughs> to spend time with the family four minutes away. There are five churches in the area and one of them looks like this, which That's is quite lovely. Very new, fresh and With the clean. mountains in the background. Yeah. Gorgeous. Very well maintained. Okay, here we go. Surprise number four. Back this, by popular demand. Yeah, this will be the last time it's a surprise because we are putting it in the rotation. Yep. What is it called, babe? One Minute Wander. Okay, so we did all the research in this town and we found another property that doesn't suit our needs Absolutely, specifically, you might need to do some renovation. However, it's 38,000 euro. Yeah. So let's take a look, babe. 41,000 US, yes. over 1,500 square feet. Wow. That's huge. Yep. Okay. I see a cute patio slash, right. slash it's what? So nice courtyard. Yeah, and look at the beams and look at the floors. The arch and this. I mean, that looks new, fresh, and clean. Yep. The floors it looks are great. big. It is. You got to repaint that. Yeah. <laughs> There's the wire sticking the out, but that's a good thing. Beams. Okay. Sconces. Yeah, some sconces. Yeah. Up those stairs. Everything looks good so far. Yeah. There's think, your kitchen. Yeah. Need that's to put the a kitchen. kitchen needs in. renovation. Uh, there's some painting over there. Yeah. A little tidying up, yeah. cleaning up. Look at the floors. Yeah. Those floors Again, are nice. Again, you could expose those ceilings. Yeah. Woo. What would you say? $41,000? So that's amazing. Yep. There's a bathroom. bathroom. It, it works. Yep. It's got a cute bidet. It's Another got... living area. This is a four bedroom, yeah. two bath. Wow. That's big. For how much again? 38,000 euros, $41,000 yeah. US. A little bit of a balcony. Yep, a balcony. Uh, those floors that we don't love, but we can make them work. You yeah. know, we like they tiles. Work. Balcony. Okay, another balcony with, with a, a cute pretty view. classic Italian view. Gosh, is this another room? I can't keep track. I know. There's okay. so many so, beams on the ceiling. Beams on the ceiling, cute. Old doors. What is this? Like a Four Seasons room. And then look at this wow, terrace. Wow, happy hour tower. Right? I have That's to do big. it. Looking at the church. Okay. This it's place so pretty. for 38,000 euro yep. is. It's a steal. Mm -hmm. If you're down for doing a little bit of tidying another up and bathroom? renovation. Yeah. Yeah. Is this it's another great. level? I can't keep track of all of this. I know. There's this a lot. This place is big. Yep, it is. And it's in Pantastora. It's yeah. super close to the property we just showed you. Yeah. Wow. All right. There you go. The wandering with wine, one minute wander? Or no, one just, minute wander. Just, just one, one minute, minute wander. Okay, ready? From now on, one minute wander. Here we go. Let's talk about temps, baby. How mm -hmm. hot we can be. Jamie wife yes. is talking about temps. Yes, I am. So the hottest month is July, and the hottest average temperature is 75 degrees, yep. which is 23 for... All of our Celsius people. Yes. And the coldest month, the average low, is 2 degrees... So it gets pretty cold. Celsius. Celsius. I did that first for our... Celsius people. Yes. And that's 34, 35 degrees Fahrenheit for count. us 
Fahrenheit people? Fahrenheit people. That's me, <laughs> that's you, and that's some of you. Some of so you. anyway, talk about the humidity, babe. Um, not too bad, not great. I see oppressive this week. Yeah. There it is, peeping out. If but. you remember from about two months ago, we showed you, we didn't show you the town that we live in, but we showed oh. you this graph, and this looks like a dream compared to where, where we, we live. live. Which is... I'm sure they can guess it. You know what? Let's see if anyone can guess where we mm. live in the comments below. Just, you know, we don't have any windows in the background that are open. You can't see what types of trees. Anyway. Some of you who know us are not allowed to comment because mm -hmm. that's giving it away. All of our friends and family, that's no right. comments. Good point. And even some subscribers who know where we live. Well, no comments yet. What? Yeah. If There's you are subscribers posts. and you just met us and you think you know, let us know in the comments below. Mobile and internet. Verizon 5G always. Wintray has some decent coverage. 5G, 4G plus. <sighs> I'm not even gonna say it. No Tim. So the Tim this week, since there's no Tim, is Tiny Tim. <laughs> okay, and there's Starlink available all throughout Italy. There you go. <laughs> Don't look at it yet. I haven't looked You're at it, You're not supposed to look. Okay, here we go. Right. Does Amazon deliver? Of course they do. There's your line. Of course does they Amazon, do. Amazon, does Amazon, does <laughs> Amazon, does Amazon deliver? <laughs> I, you guys should know this. It's like 11 o'clock at night. What time is it? It's 11.44. Yeah. We had a very um, late start. We did. Does Amazon deliver? What's your tagline? Of course they do. Uh, one to four day delivery. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. Seriously, my eyes are just, okay. Uh, oh. Zujia ba Bayo. Scott Bayo. <laughs> Scott Bayo! Scott Bayo! Scott Bayo was selling these in 1989. Was it Charles in Charge? Yes. So Charles in Charge, he went to a commercial and they sold the Hill Zujia uh, set of knives, is that knives? Yeah. And, and yeah. a uh, and cutting scissors. board and says, yeah. okay, I'm done with this one to four days delivery. And here is our checklist for this beautiful home for sale in Italy. Yep. Fireplace, yes. Yep. Beautiful floors, yep. yes. Wood beam yep. tile ceilings, yes. Yep. Courtyard, garden, terrace, whatever you want to call it, yep. View, there's a view. Yeah, it's, it's not like the best view we've ever seen, but you know, it's like long range, countryside, hills, yep. peaceful area. Yep, you have those two balconies. Yeah. You have views. Uh, terrace, yes. Yep. Garage, yes. Yep. Cantina. Yep. So depending on what you do with that extra space, there's cantina there, there's yeah. other bedrooms, living areas, you whatever you want to do. You might have multiple cantinas in this place. And you know what? I'll make that pantry in the kitchen a cantina, just like that spa. It is <laughs> gonna be so nice. Not I'm gonna be right. cooking up some, what? I have no idea. Bacon and eggs. In because the we were, Actually, we were talking about, uh, at breakfast this morning, we were talking about the fact that we made, we actually made scrambled eggs and sourdough toast. And what else did we have? Oh, you had an old sausage ball from your mom from the freezer that was really tasty. You an put, old sausage ball. No, it ball. sounds terrible. Sounds horrible. It's really good. Old meaning it was frozen from Thanksgiving. It's from Thanksgiving that we froze. Anyway, um, when we move to Italy, we're going to invite our neighbors over for breakfast and we're going to do a full American breakfast. And I'm going to be like, what is What is happening on, here? Right? So anyway, I'm going to make breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. And then I'm going to go down into that pantry that I have as a spa. So here's the property information one more time for our favorite people. That's all of you. Cascina <laughs> Lunghe in Piedmont. $84,000 for all of that. Unbelievable, man. It really is. And it's furnished. It's a three bedroom, two bath, over 1,700 square feet, courtyards, balconies. Terraces. Garden. Pomegranates. Garage. Grapevines. Yep. A whole other side of the house to be renovated. Parking. Yep. Tunnel. Yep. And only. 15 minutes away from a very large city that has everything you need, 32,000 residents. Okay, 
We've made it to the end of the video. It went by pretty darn quick, right? It always does. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for marrying me. Aww. You know, we're here every Friday at 6 yep. p.m. Yep. We, you know, we want to give a special thanks again to Dwayne and Donna. Absolutely. You know, we spend a lot of time doing this. We put it out there. They saw it. They bought the property. We feel like, you know, it makes we, it we feel played. like maybe we affected uh, someone's life a little bit. A little, little tiny bit. A little, bit. Bit. A little you tiny bit. You earned the money. Awesome. You made the decision. You went through all that stuff. But, you know, if we're part of that in some small way, it really means a lot to us. So we will see everyone next Friday at 6 p.m. I love yep. you, babe. Love you, too. And you know what? Give me a kiss because I haven't gotten a kiss yet. Oh. All right. We'll see you next Friday. Salute day. And bye.